women are attracted to monsters. Let me give some context. So my wife and I just read a um, romance novel together. I guess technically it was a romanticy uh, novel. Someone recommended it to us, said it was really good, so we read it. It was really good. And boy, there was some steamy stuff in there. Not only was it entertaining, but it was also a psychological exploration into female romance fantasy. Based on uh, you know how much this book sells and how popular it, it is, I would say that it's, uh, in general, what women are, what they fantasize about, what makes them super attracted. As I was reading it, I was reminded of a computer analyzation they did of all women romance novels. And essentially it was the, you know, archetype of the Beauty and, Be Beauty and the Beast story. Woman, um, you know, is essentially in love with a monster and um, turns him into, tames him essentially, turns him into um, a handsome prince because of his love for her. And I think women in general are attracted to men that scare or intimidate them. Maybe scare isn't the best word. Um, I think intimidate is a better word, but I, th I think there is something behind the, the concept of being afraid. Overall, the classical female romantic fantasy is uh, to marry a monster and then turn the monster into a prince because he's so in love with you. Is that accurate? What do you guys think? Is that, uh, is that not an accurate portrayal representation? I feel like there's a group of people saying, you know, women only like abusive guys. And, um, and then a lot of women are like, no, we don't. What are you talking about? I think maybe a better way of putting it is that women are attracted to extremely confident uh, men. The problem, though, is that extreme confidence is often um, a hallmark or a sign for other problems. If someone is so confident that they literally demonstrate no fear whatsoever when they're talking to you, either they're an incredibly good actor or there's some reason why they have absolutely no fear when approaching you. And usually when someone is completely unintimidated by you, like to the point where they have no fear, either they don't like you at all, um, which so they're just not attracted to you, or something else is going on. Sometimes people aren't intimidated at all because they feel that they're extremely far superior to you. So it's a case of like narcissism. I'm better than everybody, so I'm not intimidated by you. Or it could be a case of antisocial disorder, or rather antisocial personality disorder. These people could be completely unintimidated because they have absolutely no fear, because they lack mirror neurons to even have those kinds of emotions and in interacting with other people because they see you more or less like an object. They're not worried about a relationship, they're just worried about something else. Which they're not really worried about because they'll just move on to the next one and don't care at all. There's no mirror neurons there to generate, you know, embarrassment or shame or anything like that. So when I say women are attracted to monsters, kind of, they're attracted to extreme confidence. And extreme confidence can often be evidence of, I mean, if it's on a natural level of confidence, it can be evidence of antisocial personality disorder or it can be evidence of narcissism. I don't want to say all those people are monsters, but generally in most relationships, they're the kinds of um, men that a lot of women say um, make horrible partners and um, they don't like to be with them because they're kind of abusive or maybe very abusive or monsters, however you want to put it. Extreme over the top confidence is not necessarily a good sign. In fact, it probably should be a red flag. Unless they're just super good at acting. But that might be a red flag too. Maybe.